Keenan, it's clear they want their names back on the ballot or they're asking the court to rule in favor of a deadline extension. Now, the state says this hard deadline of June 3rd serves a purpose, and that's so they have enough time to send ballots overseas to military voters. An opinion from the Court of Appeals saying Republican James Craig didn't make the cut for the August 2nd primary ballot. They claim he doesn't have enough signatures, but in a statement Craig wrote, rest assured we will be appealing this questionable decision to the higher court. Fellow Republicans Donna Brandenburg, Perry Johnson and Michael Markey are fighting the same battle. They're arguing they were victims of bad circulators. These candidates now plan to plead their case to the Michigan State Supreme Court. Experienced campaign political consultant Dave Forsmark says their best bet is to prove they have enough signatures. It doesn't matter why you fell short. You know, you can cry to your mommy about that. Meanwhile, a debate taking place at the Mackinac Island Policy Conference. Republican gubernatorial hopefuls Tudor Dixon, Ralph Rebant, Kevin Rinke, and Garrett Soldano moving their campaigns forward with some promises to Michiganders. Dixon advocating for anti-abortion laws and more support for young mothers. Rebant, Rinke, and Soldano responded to a question on voting laws and insist requirements should be stricter. I don't question the election. I question the results of the election from 2020. We have 520,000 people that are on voting rolls that have not been active in over 20 years in our state, and we have a governor that vetoes a bill to clean voting rolls. Our movement has been going around over the past several months recruiting licensed election inspectors, over thousands of them, thousands to be involved in this election to make sure that there's no shenanigans. Republican candidate Ryan Kelly was also supposed to be a part of the debate, but he disagreed with the conference um, COVID policies, which required vaccinations and a negative COVID test. Reporting live in Southfield, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. All right, of course, uh, we'll be watching uh, what the Supreme Court does uh, today, no doubt. Alex Bozargian, live for us this morning in Southfield. Thank you, Alex.